Welcome back to 1700. My name is Ebony. We are back with the incredible Mac Joyce to talk about the production of his single, Drink My Booze. Um, so what was the production process like for creating this new single? Um, so essentially it moved from my couch to the bedroom. Um, and it was, I was sitting on my couch, wrote the acoustic guitar part and sang it. And then I was like, okay, this is ready to go. And then it was pretty much into my bedroom from there. I built my like walk-in wardrobe into a little soundproof kind of like vocal booth. That's and cool. um, yeah, then I just went nuts in there and I spent pretty much the day in there um, and came out with the song. And yeah, that's yeah, it's how it went for No Surprises, my <laughs> other single as well. So, yeah. Well, I guess it was all kind of through COVID and stuff like yeah, that yeah. as well. Yeah. Um, so how did that actually impact, impact on your creative process? Um, so, yeah, that was, I think Drink My Booze was a bit of a miracle song uh, because I was uh, just uh, had a bit of writer's block. Yeah. Um, and then that came out and it just flowed so perfectly. Um, and yeah, it ended up being very easy just to be able to get back into the, <laughs> into the zone because I'd just go into my closet and lock myself in there and force <laughs> myself to write. So yeah, there's, yeah, I, I tried to put a lot of detail in there and I think it came out all right. Yeah, yeah. awesome. So um, we've all had a chance to look at the music video for Drink My Booze. What type of messages were you trying to convey in this music video? Because it is quite cool and quite different. Yeah, so essentially I wanted to bring that nostalgic energy into the music video as well. So, you know, you'll see that through the old, the old phone. <laughs> um, and yeah, just uh, the blow up inflatable couch was so cool. So I yeah. had an awesome director, uh, Martin Wood, who does uh, through Interior Digital and he was amazing and he made everything happen on such like a tight budget and it was just, it, it was brilliant. So um, yeah, kudos to him for getting all those sort of like props ready and everything like that. Um, but yeah, I think the inspiration behind it was just to have a lot of energy behind the music video as there is in the song. So we just needed something that matched the same energy as the song. Yeah, definitely. And it has got those minimalistic vibes and stuff like that to it as well, which I really did love. Um, also at the end, because it's such a authentic and raw kind of music video, I did notice that it, you credited Kodak. Um, was it shot on film at all? Or? Um, yeah, so yeah, um, Martin loves to do a few things on film. Um, he has a cool little deal with Kodak and yeah. Cool. Was, yeah, yeah, so it was, um, yeah, it was a unique experience because we, you know, you kind of need to get everything right and then it's all good to go. But it, if you use too much film, you're in trouble. Yeah, it's exactly. it's expensive, so. Yeah. yeah, full on. No, I found that really interesting. So I just thought we'd um, mention that. Yeah. Um, we've also had to wait over a year for this new song. So you have mentioned No Surprises before. Yeah. Um, what have you actually been doing in this past year? You said you have <laughs> a bit of writer's block and stuff, so. What do you, what do you, what do you actually been doing, Matt? Like, stop, <laughs> stop mucking around. Like, yeah, what have you been doing? Like, have you just been um, in your closet? Like, yeah. what, like, what's the go here? <laughs> oh, that's a topical question. Um, yeah, no, I've literally just been like locked up. So it's, it was really hard to kind of get the process flowing again um, because, you know, it, some of these songs, they started a while ago and then they finished near the end of lockdown. So I think during that year was really trying to assess what my next move would be. Mm -hmm. um, so I do have another couple of songs that I want to release later in the year. Um, and it was just deciding on which one would be the right move. Mm -hmm. And it was just, it was very hard to get around. It was very hard to get around. Um, just purely because I'd be like, okay, let's film a music video for it. And then it'd be like, oh, sorry. Yeah, uh, we're going into a lockdown at like 7 p.m. tonight. So you can't oh, do anything, Matt. And I was like, oh, God. So that happened so many times. So yeah, yeah by the end of it, we just, I got out of lockdown, make sure, made sure it was over, had a couple of months out of lockdown. And I was like, okay, let's crack back into it. Crack back into yeah. it. Yeah, no, that makes sense. So um, in that time, you've obviously developed a few more songs. When are we kind of expecting to see this? Can you do a little little drop or not oh, really? I can't, I can't. See, this is the great thing is like, or well, it's actually a very bad thing, but everything's <laughs> up to me because I produce the music. So um, I will only put it out when it sounds good enough to put out. 
but there will be two songs out before the end of the year. Beautiful. That sounds good to us and that is more than exciting. So yeah. congratulations to you. Thank you. Um, what type of things can your fan base and audience kind of expect from you in the year ahead? Like apart from these two songs, are we doing any live gigs, etc.? Yeah, so I've just got confirmed a live gig uh, August 4th. Put it in your, in, in your diaries. Um, August 4th will be at the Gasometer Hotel in Fitzroy. So... Um, yeah, make sure you get down to that because live gigs are a bunch of fun. And the Gasso is such a good venue for gigs as well. It's really, really intimate. So, yes, yeah, 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 especially with the roof open. Yeah. It's so cool. I don't think the roof will be open. It'll probably be a bit arctic, but yeah. Um, so what type of themes and production elements are you going to explore with this future music that you're putting out to release? Is it going to be kind of similar to what we've just heard? or? Yeah, I think like those songs were really uh, based around um, heavy listening. So like, um, you know, I had a lot of time to sit around and actually work on those songs, um, but I really want to cut to the core of the meaning of the next few songs that are coming out. So a lot more sort of overdriven guitars um, and exploring that side of me rather than the heavy pop side of me. So a bit more alternative rock as well. Cool. Yeah. Definitely. Um, so we will be back after the break with Matt Joyce to learn a bit more about him and to see him perform his brand new single. So stay tuned. Welcome back to 1700. I'm Ebony and I am back chatting with Matt Joyce. Now, I have some rapid fire questions for you. So just whatever comes to your mind first thing. Just answer it straight up. Dangerous so, territory. Yeah, so he hasn't been exposed to any of these questions and they're pretty basic, so it's okay. Oh, okay. All right, nothing too intimidating. Good. All right. Because I'm scared. First of all, favorite food? Curry. <laughs> favorite color? Curry. Uh, <laughs> blue. <laughs> blue. Uh, favorite artist of all time? Uh, mm, John Mayer. Cool. Do you have any pets? Yes. What pets? <laughs> Golden Retriever called Sammy. Cute. Yeah. Uh, Left-handed or right-handed? Right-handed. Stranger Things, yes or no? No. Favourite TV show? Uh, the Boys. That's a good TV show. Yeah. A new season just came out. Yeah, so excited. Um, and give me all your social media handles. Go. Okay. Uh, Instagram, at Matty Joyce Music. Uh, Facebook, Matt Joyce Music. Um, a Twitter, if I still use Twitter, uh, Matt Joyce Music. Um, everything is Matt Joyce Music. You can go to mattjoycemusic.com. You can follow the link tree in my Instagram handle. Don't click on the OnlyFans link. <laughs> click on the OnlyFans link. Do it's it. It's really do funny. It. Do do it.